Hi everyone, welcome to Dallas Insightful Tarot. If you're new to my channel, then welcome. If not, then welcome back. This is gonna be a mini love reading for the sign of Gemini, okay? Remember, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Okay, I'm just cleaning, cleansing the energy real quick, the space with some sage, and we'll get started, okay? Remember, time is fluid, so when you find this message, it is gonna be the time that you're meant to see it, okay? But this is gonna be, um, for now, we're doing this mid-May. This is for mid-May. Okay. Let's go ahead and jump in. Let's see what, um, we're gonna do an oracle card first. Let's see what Spirit wants you to know, maybe regarding this reading, possibly. Spirit, angel guides, Holy Spirit, ancestors, and white, right? Please give me the messages that my Gemini needs to know right now, please. out is red it says forgive so maybe there's somebody that's needing forgiveness in your life let's read what the little book has to say okay. Okay. it says you've been holding a grudge against somebody in your life maybe it's a loved one or maybe it's yourself this isn't a card telling you that you must learn to practice forgiveness no forgive them on your own terms if and when you are ready to do so. This is simply a nudge for you to consider whether that time is the present. Don't let forgiveness feel like an obligation, but like a shiny red hope that gets you through your sleepless nights, okay? So there's probably somebody that um, possibly you're needing to forgive right now. Spirit's not saying for you to forgive them, but for at least you to accept the idea of it. Because um, maybe that could help you um, let go of some resentment or angers that you have in you right now. Um, you know, a lot of the times I feel like, like when we forgive people, it's not really so much for them, it's for ourselves. If you really look at it, I mean, that's just, that's just personally how I feel. I mean, everybody has their own opinion, I guess, but I just feel like a lot of the times it's for us, ourselves, asking for forgiveness um, so that we can feel better with our choices that we've made or know that they're okay, okay? All right, so I'm just gonna leave this right here and we'll go ahead and pull some cards. Let me see, what do I wanna do? What cards do I wanna use? Hmm. What cards do I use, Spirit? Okay, they're telling me to use these. Too many. Way too many. Try it again. Bottom of the deck, we have Queen of Cups. Okay. So, what I'm picking up on is this is somebody definitely from your past. Sorry if you don't want to hear that. It's just, it's just what I see. Um, this is going to be happening. There's going to be some quick communication coming in very quickly because we have the eight of wands. This is what this person is currently thinking about. So they have been contemplating on something about bringing this offer into you, Gemini. Um, I feel like they see a passionate new beginning with you. Okay. You have lit this person's fire. <laughs> um, this person could possibly be a fire sign. So. Sagittarius, Leo, 
or Aries. Oh, that light just went out. It's okay. Hopefully you can still see. Okay, let's try that. So definitely this person is, um, they are going to be rushing in with this communication or traveling towards you in some way. Um, you could live at a distance. doesn't have to be. Just remember, take what resonates. Um, but definitely this person is feeling this new idea with you and they're seeing the seed of potential. Um, so they've had this arrival like inspiration or some kind of illumination that they have realized and they're going to be rushing in, like I said, very, very passionately, I feel like, to you. This person could be a, um, a water sign, a fire sign, or an earth sign, because we have all three out on, on the board. We have a lot of water. Um, we have three water signs. And we have two fire signs and two earth signs. Okay. They don't have to be. They're just, they could just be carrying that um, highly aspect in their chart. So um, this person is seeing, um, I feel like they're like almost kind of manifesting you. They're trying to manifest you back in their life. You are definitely someone from their past because they're viewing you as the Six of Cups. Okay, the Six of Cups talks about, <clears throat> you know, old relationships and friendships that we've had in our past that we're very fond of. It talks about being nostalgic about certain things um, that involve that person. Okay, they're like, um, it's, it's basically reconnecting with people from our past. So I feel like this person, um, if they're not from your past, then it could also be they're just trying to, um, I feel like they are when I look at this. I'm not even going to say that. They definitely, I feel like they are definitely from your past, which doesn't surprise me because we have Mercury retrograde right now. So we're sure everybody will have somebody show up from their past at least. Um, but they're looking at you and they're getting these nostalgic feelings. They're experiencing these things and they're feeling triggered by old memories of the two of you together. Um, you know, it also talks about, Six of Cups also talks about it being a time to forgive yourself and releasing any like guilt that you may carry from past relationships or trauma and previous actions that you've done, which could interpret this card right here and this forgiving situation. So maybe this person that is coming in from your past, maybe it's somebody that you need to forgive even if you aren't seeing them in that light anymore. Um, maybe this just could be somebody that is just wanting your forgiveness in some way for maybe things that they've done wrong to you in the past. Okay. Um, what the challenge is, is the Page of Cups. Okay. The Page of Cups is somebody who's younger. They don't have to be younger than you, but maybe they could just be immature um, at their communication. I feel like they're not. I feel like they might just be younger. I don't feel like they're being immature because, and their intentions is going to be the King of Pentacles. So the King, you know, he's um, he's pretty mature out of all of the other suitors. So they just could be bringing in maybe just, um, no, I don't see that. I also see this person could be a Pisces. I'm looking at the fish there that kind of stuck out to me right now. And then um, I thought I saw another sign somewhere in here. Yeah, it was the Pisces that I saw. Um, but this person's going to be coming in. They want to speak with you. They want to tell you it is. Um, you know, they want to ask for forgiveness is what I'm seeing. You know, I feel like this person's a dreamer. You know, they are... Um, I think they're seeing, like, synchronicities right now. I really do. I feel like they're being... Um, very taken back by all of these synchronicities that they keep seeing and maybe even seeing your name, your vehicle, whatever it may be that this person knows that you have. I feel like they're seeing all of these signs right now to come to you. Um, and I feel like it is to ask for forgiveness in some way. Um, maybe it could be the beginning of a new relationship between the both of you because I am seeing the Ace of Pentacles is what this person is wanting to offer you. Um, but the question is, are you going to take it, Gemini? Has this person done you wrong to where you are just done and over with it? Because when I'm looking at the Queen of Cups, this is in the most likely outcome. So, you know, this is something that has the potential of happening. You have free freedom of choice, you know, free will. Um, but at the same time, I'm looking at her pouring that cup of love out. Like she's, if you look at her face, she just looks like she's over it, right? 
like nope done not doing this bullshit again and under the deck under that on the deck is the fold so i feel like this person is definitely going to be taking this risk you know coming in to offer you this then we have temperance under that wow um so this girl you look she's also pouring the love out of the out of the um cups Maybe this person's just afraid that you're over it. But next after that, we have is the Four of Wands. This person sees a long-term commitment with you. They see um, marriage. This could be a twin flame connection with all of these cards out here on the deck. Um, I also see this person is manifesting you. Oh my gosh, this is even getting better. Wait. So this person's definitely manifesting you back into their life right now because they see the Ten of Cups. Okay, They see it all with you, the home, the dog, the car, the house, the chickens, the whatever. They see it all with you, Gemini. But I feel like they're fearing that you're going to be this queen of cups, kind of cold and put off whenever they come in with this communication um, because I feel like of things that they've done that's wrong to you. But they definitely want this reconciliation with you. They want to make things work. They want to collaborate with you in some way, possibly maybe even start a business. Okay. This person has been in hermit mode, I'm feeling, for quite some time. And look, it's a pair. Let me see. Let's put it back over here. Where did that go? I just seen the Queen of Swords. Oh, here it is. A pair. I pulled the the Queen or the King of Swords and the Queen of Swords. So this person could be your match. <clears throat> um, I feel like maybe you have definitely had a lot of love for this person, but I feel like maybe you're over it, Gemini. I really do. Um, the, it's the ball's gonna be left in your court. Definitely gonna be left in your court. Um, but you guys do have the potential of reconciliation if that is what you're wanting. This person is going to be coming in. His intentions is to keep it, or her, sorry. Remember, we all carry both masculine and feminine energies. This person is going to be coming in as the king of pentacles. Okay. Um, The King of Pentacles, Pentacles is, um, he's, you know, he's, he's a bun, he's got a, a overflowing material abundance, you know, he's, he's very, um, he's very determined, he's a confident, he's a warm leader, he could be a business owner, um, I feel like he handles his money very well, he has a lot of prosperity, prosperity and success, and he's got comfort and security, he has it all. Um, he has a lot of goals that he's, he's reached in his lifetime that he's worked very hard for. And he's usually very careful about the way and the choices that he makes because he is financially stable. And that's how he stays that way is because he takes very good care of himself. He also is very well groomed. Um, but I feel like this person, he's going to be excluding this, this ex excluding this warmth. And, you know, he welcomes you into his, into his life, um, He's worked his fields and he met his soulmate and I feel like he believes his soulmate is you. He's found the wealth and now he's just looking for the love. He's manifesting you, I feel like, back into his life. He wants to offer you um, this love. You know, his dreams are endless and his potential and existence is steady and desire and he does it with effort, okay? So he's going to be offering you the Ace of Pentacles. He wants to offer you the beginning of a new venture, you know? He has these new ideas and he's very ambitious and he does have prosperity, like I said. So he's definitely wants to start this freshly new beginning with you, rooted. Um, you know, he wants to be like this powerhouse couple with you, Jay-Z, Beyonce type love. Excuse me. I feel like he could see you being his wife with the four of wands being there. He's very, very, um, very fond of you. I feel like this person has a lot of respect for you and I feel like they're extremely nervous about coming into um, talk to you about this reconciliation and possibly even apologize for things that they've done in their past because um, they know that they were wrong. I feel like this person definitely knows that what they did was very jacked up and wasn't, um, it didn't really, I feel like this person feels like that how they treated you in the past Gemini was something who doesn't really typically depict who they really are. I feel like, and they're very, very worried about that, you know. Um, this person definitely wants to um, set goals with you and intentions with you. I want, they feel like they have a lot of faith and, and hope in this, in this situation. And I feel like they are just, um, you know, the Ace of Pentacles talks about good things to come. It's the visualize, attract, prioritize, and acting on something, okay? 
The most likely outcome, like I said, was the Queen of Cups. You know, the Queen of Cups, I feel like you're very intuitive. Gemini, you are highly attuned to your emotional intelligence, so you know how to regulate your emotions without people knowing how you feel, or at least without acting upon them, like, you know, foolishly. Um, I feel like you are very empathetic, though, and I do feel like a lot of the times you lead with your heart, and I feel like you have been healing in a lot of ways um, since this situation with this person has taken place, and I feel like you've healed from it. If you haven't healed from it, then I feel like you've definitely almost got to the point where you feel healed from it, okay? So, um, I feel like you are going to show this person love and compassion, and I feel like you are going to be sensitive to how they speak to you, but I feel like you're also going to be very... Um, very set forth in how you're going to handle the situation. I feel like you're going to let them know that if they are allowed back in your life, that they're not going to play games with you anymore because I feel like you are over it. You're, you're done with that. You possibly couldn't even, won't even let this person back in. Maybe you just forgive them. And that's okay because then that just means that you've learned from something and you're only stronger for the next relationship that enters your life, okay? I just wanted to do a short reading. This is going to be just a short reading. Let's go ahead and pull some messages from this person, what they would say right now, if they could tell you anything, Gemini, and then we'll end this reading. Remember, if any of these messages are resonating, please hit that like and subscribe button. I would so greatly appreciate it, okay? like to say I'm just gonna take a couple what would this person like to say to my Gemini if they could please start Ooh, that blew up. first card we have that pulled out it says I cannot fight this oh I forgot you know what I forgot this backwards so you can't see it it's gonna look backwards to you I have it on selfie mode okay so the first card says I cannot fight this feeling anymore I need you okay too much what else would this person like to tell my Gemini please start I wish I knew how you felt. So this person is very confused. They don't know how you're going to react. Like I said, they're very nervous about this. Reaching out with this communication. They're snooping through my stuff, trying to investigate. So I feel like this person could have been in a, you could have been in a third party situation um, or maybe put in one and you didn't know that. But I feel like this person, um, they definitely uh, want to let you know that whoever they're with or whoever they were with, um, I feel like they got rid of that person or they're in the process of it. Maybe that's why they're going to be approaching you. But I feel like they want you to know that that person has been trying to snoop through their things because I feel like the other person knows about you. Okay. Okay. We have brains, bag, and beauty. So they think you're beautiful, smart, and you have it all together. They feel like you um, have it all, Gemini. Let's take the rest of these four and then we'll end that. Okay. It says, I love that booty and those legs and your pumps, damn. So they think you're very sexy when you have stilettos, heels on. They think you're gorgeous and they love your behind. <laughs> it says, I can feel you even when we're apart. So this person feels like they have some sort of spiritual connection with you, Gemini. Um, and so they definitely feel you when you're not around. It says, when I look at you, I see my future. That doesn't surprise me because we saw the four of wands here. They want, they see marriage potential in you. And it says, I'm working on becoming the best version of myself. For us. So this person definitely, um, they see something more with you, Gemini. The, I feel like the ball's going to be in your court. Are you going to tell them no or are you going to tell them yes? Maybe you should think on this. Um, but I feel like this person is coming in. They're not showing up as a page. Um, I feel like that was in the challenge position. So I feel like the past, the problem in this situation in the past, Gemini, was this person was showing up as a page, offering you a page of cups. Um, but now it's showing, they're going to be showing up as the king of pentacles. So this person is very serious about you. I feel like that was definitely the challenge in the past. And I think you're going to be really taken back and shocked by how this person has changed. And nothing is going to shock you, I feel like, because it is Mercury retrograde. Remember, we are all we all have these people show back up. And I think you might even be really shocked. But I feel like this person is going to be coming in. And I do honestly, genuinely feel that their intentions are true. Okay? These are the messages I have for you. I hope they resonate. If they do, please hit that like and subscribe button. Um... If you wouldn't mind, please hit that like, like, like button, please. It is a new channel. Um, this is where we part ways. Until next time, bye.